Let's say we want to format these cells as currency. Just press the keyboard shortcut, Control, Shift, then the dollar sign. To format as a percentage, press, Control, Shift, and the percent key. Ever need to quickly filter some data? Press Control, Shift, L. There, now we have filter arrows at the top of the data. Want to quickly start a blank workbook? Simply press Control N. When it comes time to save your work, press Control S. It's so easy, there's almost no excuse for losing your work. My favorite is Control Z. Undo. I don't have to worry about getting a formula wrong because I can always simply press Control Z to return it to the way it was before. Or I can change my mind again and press Control Y to redo a command. Of course, you probably wouldn't redo a formula that produced an error, but you could if you wanted to. You can often remember key combinations by creating mental connections using the shortcut keys themselves. For example, there's Control P for printing, Control O for opening files, Control F for finding text, and Control C for copying data to the clipboard. You could also think of X, which is the shortcut key for cut, as being a pair of scissors. There are also variations of certain key combinations that you can get to by adding the Alt or Shift keys. For example, Control V pastes formulas, values, and everything. But if you want to choose what to paste, press Control Alt V and you get the Paste Special dialog box. Select an option, and click OK. When you're ready to quit for the day, you can quickly close your workbook by pressing Control w and select the cell with the formula, and the cells below it, and press Control d And the formula is filled down to all the selected cells. We can create a total row the same way. Insert the formula here, and then fill right by pressing Control R. All done, and with just a few key combinations. But if you want to go even faster, try this. Select the values, and the cells just below them, then press Alt, and the equal sign. Or you can select empty cells to the right of the values to add auto sum formulas over here. Of course, the same thing could be done with the mouse, selecting the cells and then clicking the fill command. But it's just not as fast. You press the arrow keys to move from cell to cell. To the right, to the left, and up and down. If you want to move faster, you can turbocharge the arrow keys with the control key. When you're working inside a data range, press the control and arrow keys to jump right to the last column, left to the first column, to the top of the range, or to the bottom. When you're outside a data range, Press the control and arrow keys to jump to the next non-blank cell in a column or row. To jump to the lower right corner of your entire spreadsheet, press control end. To jump to the A1 cell, press control home. You can also jump directly to a specific cell or range. Press control G and then type the cell or range. The Go To box also remembers where you've been. Press Tab, 
and then press the arrow keys to select a seller range to return to. What if you need to cover a lot of distance? Then you can use Page Down to move down one screen at a time, or Page Up to move up one screen. You can also move to the right one screen by pressing Alt Page Down, or one screen left by pressing Alt Page Up. To go to the next worksheet, press Control Page Down, or Control Page Up to go back one worksheet. Use the arrow keys to move to the first cell that you want to select. Then press the Shift and right arrow keys to select cells to the right one at a time. Now if you press the Shift and the left arrow key, you unselect the cells one at a time. With only one cell selected, you can use Shift and the left arrow key to select cells to the left. If you want to turbocharge the selection, add the Control key to the combination. Press Control, Shift, and the right arrow to select to the end of the data on the right. Press Control, Shift, and the left arrow to select to the beginning of the data on the left. It works the same for the up and down arrows. Shift down, Shift up, Control Shift down, Control Shift up. Now watch what happens when you mix the right, left, up and down arrows. Press Shift right or left to select by columns in the range, and then press Shift up or down to extend the selection by rows in the range. To do the same thing with fewer keystrokes, add the Control key. Control Shift Right, Control Shift Down. To move even faster, simply press Control Shift End. This instantly extends the selection to the lower right corner of the data. Or press Control Shift Home to extend the selection to cell A1. To select the entire data range, press Control A. So that's how you make selections when you are working inside a range of data. But there are plenty of key combinations for working with an entire worksheet. For example, you can select a whole row by pressing Shift and the space bar or a column by pressing Control and the spacebar. Another way to turbocharge these shortcuts is to select a row by pressing Shift Spacebar, then press Shift and the arrow keys. Then you can select more than one row. It works for columns, too. Earlier we showed you that Control A, when in a range, will select all the cells in that range. Well, Control A outside the range will select all cells in the worksheet. And here's one more useful key combination. If you hide rows or columns, and then extend a selection across them, the hidden data is also selected. When I copy and paste the selection by pressing Control C, moving to a new location, and then pressing Control V, you can see that the hidden data is also copied. But there's a way to select only visible data. Press Alt and the semicolon key. Now when I copy the selection, and then press Control V, only the visible rows and columns are copied. To add a column, select a cell to the right of where you want the column, then press Control, Shift, and the plus sign. Use the up and down arrow keys to select entire column, and press Enter. 
To add a row, select a cell in the row just below where you want the new row. Press Ctrl Shift Plus. Select Entire Row. And press Enter. It's just as easy to delete a row or column. Select a cell in the row or column you want to delete. And press Ctrl and the minus sign. Then select Entire Row. Or entire column, and press Enter. When you add a row or column, it affects all the data ranges that the row or column goes through. But what if you want to add a column to this data range without adding it to the others? Here's what you do select the data to the right of where you want to add a column. And press Ctrl Shift Plus. Then select Shift Cells Right and press Enter. The column was added here, but not to the range below it. Now let's see what happens when we add a row. Select the cells below where you want to add the row. Press Ctrl Shift Plus. Select Shift Cells Down and press Enter. And a row is added to this range only. If you want to delete a row in a data range without deleting the entire row, select the cells and press Ctrl and the minus sign. Then select Shift Cells Up and Enter. Do the same thing to delete a column in a range. Keep in mind that inserting and deleting cells can be tricky. For example, if you select only two cells in a column, and then shift the cells right, the data you move won't be in the correct columns anymore. I'll press Ctrl Z to undo this. If you want to add a column to a data range, make sure you select all the cells in the range column before you shift the cells to the right. Now, what do you do if you want to keep some data that you don't want to see? You can hide it. Select a cell in the row that you want to hide, and then press Ctrl and the number 9. To hide a column, select a cell in the column, and press Ctrl and the 0 key. There are the popular commands for formatting text. Control B applies bold formatting. Control I italicizes the text. And Control U adds an underline. But then there are some very useful key combinations for working with cells. To apply an outside border to selected cells, press Control, Shift, and the ampersand key. To remove the border, press Ctrl, Shift, and the Underline key. As we've already seen, Ctrl, Shift, Dollar Sign applies the currency format. And Ctrl, Shift, Percent key applies the percentage format. But there's also Ctrl, Shift, Exclamation Point, which applies the number format with two decimal places. Control, Shift, and the tilde sign, which applies the general format. And if you can't find the formatting you're looking for, press Control 1 to open the Format Cells dialog box. If you're working with text, press Control, Shift, F to go directly to the Font tab of the Format Cells dialog box.